Because he's dead. Yeah, what's to talk about? He's you no, know, but you think of like moral leaders. Somebody is saying something. They don't he's like deceased, him. man. Everybody know he's dead. Well, he's controlled. It's a clown. Yeah, he's just he's being he like, been dead. Around. Come on, where's his wife? <laughs> you always see a president with their wife. Right. His wife made agreement. I'm not hanging out with that fucking clown. You can't make me. Man, she know her husband's dead. How do you fall upstairs? <laughs> <laughs> like, just explain the physics and the science behind that. Somebody was had the remote control and just hit a button wrong. And his leg went bad, and he fell upstairs. Now I think I think they did that on purpose. Yeah. Why is he gonna make this motherfucker fall upstairs? <laughs> <laughs> Why he getting on the jet? Yeah, no, they do him dirty. They made him fall off a bike. Fall off. <laughs> like, because it's, it's it's just a clown show. Yeah, it's uh, it's a clown show. And he didn't fall back there. He waited right until he got in the good camera yeah. angle. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Like I said, it's, it's because it gives us something to talk about. Right. Mm -hmm. It's just funny because to watch. he's not doing anything <laughs> as president. He has no agenda. What the fuck is his agenda? Circus Tim or his vice. Like, right. yeah. But no, we ain't seen that bitch either. I forgot about her until someone said it. That video I sent you? Yeah. Or dude called the chick uh, the heckler Kamala Harris. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, man. That was the first time I heard her name. So it, this is literally going around all in comedy, as you already know, Pop. Like you've been saying on stage, the comedy is getting dangerous. A lot of motherfuckers are fucking snapping at comedy shows all of a sudden. No, it ain't. It's, it's FBI, CIA agents. Or they trying to create a trend. Yeah. That if you had a live show. Mm -hmm. Be careful what you say. Somebody might snap. Yeah. So this motherfucker's been doing that to me for over forty years. Yeah. So I can see him when I see him. Yeah. But these new comedians ain't used to it. Mm -hmm. This is the government trying to scare motherfuckers from talking. Freedom of speech attack. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's uh, uh, what's that motherfucker's name? Uh, Hoover uh, had these rules of engagement. For entertainers, mm -hmm. if you can hold the attention of over fifteen hundred to two thousand people, you're dangerous. FBI's will be at your show. Oh. Period. Because yeah. you can change the mind of two thousand people yeah. you with your words or your music. The fabric of yeah. humanity. And those two thousand people will go out, and each one will teach ten. Yeah. Now when you're dealing with two hundred to two million people. Oh, right. Now it's a movement. Yeah. So they try to kill it at, at its inception. So that that's what y'all saying. Yeah, ain't, 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 ain't nobody trying to motherfucking whoop comedians asses. These are all plants. They These are have, all plants. That make perfect sense. Plants. So, so any comedian out there, you got a motherfucker trying to rest stage, uh, check his paperwork. This, check his paperwork. This one was a damn woman. She what she what happened? He made this this particular comedian was like, I'm the biggest Trump hater. And then she was like, You can't say that. You're not she was like, That's racist. She said you said a racist joke towards black people, but he never said anything. He's like, actually I'm half black and white, so you know, but he was trying to he was basically talking about how, you know, he's a Trump supporter and all that shit. And then she was like, nah, you don't support Trump and all that shit. He was just trying to talk about black people. He was like, when did I say anything about black people? And it turned into like... And it turned into like a whole argument to where she got up and security had to come grab her. That's but crying nigga, and I shit. had a man to that shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had, I had this lesbo throw a drink in my motherfucking face on stage in motherfucking uh, San Jose. Mm -hmm. No, it was in uh, Oakland, mm -hmm. right outside of Frisco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Town has a reputation. <laughs> so, nigga, uh, I decided to throw water back on this bitch. Because if I <laughs> hit her in the head with the bottle, I'd be in jail. So, I had to 
my brain was mark working in milliseconds. And you know, right hemisphere is like, just tag the bitch in the head with the bottle. <laughs> Left hemisphere like, no, we could go to jail. Toss water on him. So I tossed water on him. And uh the sisters on the second tier of this club, Tommy T's, threw every drink they had down on this bitch's head. This bitch left looked like she just fell out the ocean. <laughs> Crying shit. And, and they had an audacity try to sue me and Tommy T. Nigga, we won the case because, you know, whatever. But anyway, it's all staged. This bitch, we found out, she does this with a lot of comedians mm -hmm. in the court case. I wasn't the first one. This bitch has a reputation for trying to get comedians to sell out of court and pay her. Wow. Plants. Oh, that's a hustle. So it's plants. Always. If it's violence at a comedy show, it is a motherfucking plant. Period. That's it. That's all. Motherfucker, the ticket said comedy show. Did not say serious show. If a motherfucker come to a comedy show thinking something serious, then they these are sick people. And they need to be locked away somewhere. Where? But I don't think nobody's sick. I think they're plants. So again, I said FBI, CIA, watch yourselves, comedians. Look at that motherfucking government haircut they have, nigga, and, and how they don't fit in. Yeah. And most times they're sitting there by themselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why is everybody else laughing? Yeah. Somehow, everybody else laughing, but this one motherfucker. <laughs> he don't get it. He took shit. <laughs> oh, he just hit, stabbed me in the heart. <laughs> with his arms crossed. Yeah, like how you don't get with everybody oh, else. Remember the last one? Yeah. You remember he sat there by himself, that old white dude. And he had, he had a goatee and a beard. Mm -hmm. But he had the government motherfucking issue line up. I, I said, this motherfucker fed like a yeah. Shave size. And That's like the undercover Come look. on, nigga. <laughs> That's the undercover look, nigga. You got Hold the UC. Yeah. Yeah. It'll look like you'll fit in. But, nigga, everything else is regulation. I get the fuck out. Well, what kind of lo logic are you like? You know, you going undercover right now near the meeting. Hey, all you got to do is put a goatee on. Yeah. Dude, so, <laughs> so ain't nobody going to notice you. So my dad, he used to be a manager of the mall where we lived at. Mm -hmm. All his friends were cops. Mm -hmm. So they were like, yo, we, we want you to join our, our bicycling crew, but mm -hmm. you got to shave your beard. <laughs> what the fuck? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he was like, mustache only. Government issue, man. Yeah. Standards. Yeah. <laughs> that's what they call them. The SO, that's, SOPs. That's, that's the signal to get in the club. Son of a bitch. <laughs> little rascals. SOP, standard operating procedures. Hey, when you when you when you went to Little Rascal Clubhouse, if you weren't doing this, <laughs> you wouldn't get there. You wasn't part of the boys. Mm -hmm. So you know, uh, yeah, y'all better uh, watch out for them. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, fuck black individuals. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, FBI. Yeah. Uh, Come on now. This <laughs> Fuck black individuals. <laughs> Come on, that's what they do, ain't they? Hey, nigga, hey, hey. That's 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 the MO. Yeah. All the way back to Hoover. Uh CIA. Sweet yeah. Cocaine in America. <laughs> they took over the international drug trade and still running it. Mm -hmm. They, they keep trying to know. They keep trying to blame it on them. Uh, the Mexican cartel, nigga. Nah. The Mexican cartel is the CIA. Mm -hmm. They No. No. They are is. the <laughs> CIA. Oh well, yeah. Yeah. The fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, they they, uh -oh. they make they make a a, a few tonnage bus per year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that shit is never stored. It's always shipped right back out to the marketplace. Right. And it's handed to niggas to create wars. All right, we'll hand this to these bloods out here because the Crips going to have to start buying from them. Mm -hmm. And the Crips had it before. And they going to like that. And that's going to create a lot of bloodshed. Mm -hmm. And they do that with the Mexicans. Nigga, hey, nigga, the Vatos and the 
Los Angeles, nigga. You know what I mean? Because the, the Nathaniels and the Bond, they, they don't get along. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So they going to switch sides on who going to serve, who going to serve who. And that's man. starts a war. Divide yeah. and conquer. That's yeah. it. Mm -hmm. they, they, do, they doing that device for disciples, nigga. You know what I mean? Motherfucker, that, that's worldwide. Everybody. CIA is a dirty ass motherfucking machine. Divide and conquer. If I can make CIA nigga is, is behind nigga uh, uh, killing Gaddafi. Yeah, they blew their brother's brains up because he said he wanted to start an African currency hmm. based on gold. Merrick's currency is based 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 on paper. <laughs> 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 they can just keep printing. Man. This Federal Reserve keep doing this print. Africa's currency is based on natural resources. Man. Now, if all Africa came together and kept our resources in Africa, all of Europe and America would be broke. That's just a fact. So that's what Gaddafi was trying to do. Nigga, don't you know they 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 flew to the nigga house, blew him up, blew his daughter's head off, nigga. Killed the whole family mm. and had him set up with the propaganda machine in his own country. Had him drugged through the streets and beat to death by his own motherfucking people Damn. who he saved from the tyranny of white group. Mm. Mm. Don't you know uh, uh, Olivia had the best schools on earth? Had the best motherfucker, nigga. It, it had the best healthcare, nigga. All that shit for free. For free? For they, free. They destroyed that immediately. Oh, then they. Yeah. That's what Gaddafi did for his people. Wow. Wow. But they ain't gonna tell you that. They, 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 they immediately. He was a tyrant. He, he controlled his people. Uh, ooh. <laughs> oh, well, oh, you mean like. You, United States government, tyrant, controlling your people, shutting down motherfuckers' businesses for a whole fucking year, and not paying us what our money was worth for our business. Mm -hmm. And then we go into bankruptcy, and you rich motherfuckers stole our businesses. It was the biggest land grab since the motherfucking Louisiana Purchase with no money down. You evil sons of bitches. Under the illusion of just death. Don't go outside. You need to wear a mask. Fuck out of here. My question is this. If money is a representation of a promissory note. What's the promise? Is can we call it broken promises? Huh? Broken promises. No. They promised you bullshit. They gave you that. They gave it to you. It says, they, yeah, that's what I'm I promise you that this paper is worth that's what right. I said. Yeah. That's bullshit. Yeah. They promised you bullshit. You took it. Hey, that's on you. But it's a guaranteed promise. No, it ain't no guaranteed promise. That's that same thing. It's it's you you <laughs> You accepted the bullshit. You accepted the bullshit. You should have threw that piece of paper right back at him saying, I'll take mine and go. Mm -hmm. I will take mine and go. So they got suckered in the ICUs. Thank you. Uh, so, I owe you, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it was a promise. Yeah. I mean, well, ICU, yeah, I don't yeah, use ICU it too. Just, you know, I'll think about pop song. That's if, stress to get you in there. If it was a promise, that means you could print one. That's what I'm saying. Right. So that's why I'm like, if it's a promise that you know, then obviously that's what I'm gonna make some yellow print. money called Griffin money. Mm -hmm. And I promise that it's worth what I'm printing on. Well, Ain't that what NFT is and all this shit is? No, watch me go to jail. Yeah. For counterfeiting. Oh. But the Fed can print money every fucking day. With no motherfucking natural resources backing it. But they just keep printing. They can change the fabric of it. I don't give a fuck. They just keep printing. Yeah. That's illegal. Yeah. In all countries. Federally. Except in the United States of America. The Federal Reserve mm -hmm. can just keep printing money. That's illegal. That's why they broke. They owe too many people. They just keep 
And that's why the interest rates keep running. Mm -hmm. Because they keep printing money. And your dollar loses value. Yeah, drawing debt. So the bag of chips that used to cost 15 cents when I was a kid is now $1.75. Mm -hmm. That's called inflation. Yep. Let's round up two dollars. Because the Fed has inflated the value <laughs> of the American dollar. Beyond what it is, nigga. Everybody looking at this American dollar like it ain't worth shit. You can't go it ain't worth the pay rich man. Can't go nowhere in the world. <laughs> nowhere, nigga. Remember, I, I, I used to go to Canada. I used to go to Canada. I take motherfucking four hundred dollars on my per diem per day. Mm -hmm. That would become four thousand in Canadian money. Yeah, nigga, yeah. I was balling out of control. Not yeah, nah, for real. When Canada before nigga even started going there, you said four hundred to four thousand. Nigga, yeah. nigga, hold on. When I went to South Africa, one dollar. Was one hundred thousand rand mm. in South African money? I bought a house over there, nigga. Beachfront <laughs> property. Damn. Motherfucker worth about three million, nigga. You know how much I put down? Mm. <laughs> Five grand. What do you? No, six thousand dollars paid for the entire property. Look at that. Damn. Look at that. That's just wild. Nah, that's, well, let's go back. I need some of that. Oh no, the rand, the rands killed us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. They, they, they didn't plant a seed everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Everywhere. Killing dollar. Yeah. Cause nigga, you can only fuck me for so long before I know I have natural resources. All the diamonds is here. Right. Yeah. And the niggas then fought, nigga. I woke a bunch of them. I said, like, why y'all letting these crackers run out? I was over there, nigga. Uh -huh. In like '99. And I'm fighting for these Africans, nigga, at a bar and all this shit, nigga. They just letting these white folks run. I said, nigga, why the fuck are y'all doing this? <laughs> y'all number these motherfuckers over here. You got to take the chains off your motherfucking brains. Whoop these motherfuckers' asses. Right. So I whooped a couple of their asses on their behalf. <laughs> They're like, Eddie Griffin, Eddie Griffin, Eddie Griffin. <laughs> Really? Right. That's real, nigga. I broke it down. I was like, hey, y'all got the natural resources. 70% of the world's natural resources that makes the world run come from Africa. Africa is supposed to be the richest continent on earth. Why is it the poorest? Because everybody is robbing from her. The French, America, England, everybody. Now the Chinese got a foothold there. They over there robbing. Ain't England in Africa? No, England ain't in Africa. Oh, I mean a part of, like, close by. No. 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 Shit's way... in white people, man. Northwest. Oh, yeah. The Weeds are north. 